And here we are. We've got a few verses in the book of Jeremiah. We're going to start at chapter 52, verse 32, and get this done very quickly. And spoke kindly unto him, and set his throne above the throne of the kings who were with him in Babylon. Notes. Now these were perhaps captive kings who had been taken in the many campaigns of Nebuchadnezzar more than likely. Verse 33. And changed his prison garments, and he did continually eat bread before him all the days of his life. Notes. Now, we're not exactly told why Jehoiakim was favored by the king of Babylon. As well, nothing is known of his real spiritual condition. Verse 34. And for his diet there was a continual diet given him of the king of Babylon, every day a portion until the day of his death all the days of his life. Notes. Now, Evel Merodach was the son of Nebuchadnezzar. Perhaps his favorable treatment of Jehoiakim was the result of the influence of his father, Nebuchadnezzar, who showed some inclination in his closing years of turning to God. And like I said, you can read uh, the book of Daniel from chapter 1 all the way up to about chapter, in the middle of about chapter 4. And it's actually a rather amusing story. I mean, the king of Babylon begins to get a very proud attitude and he begins to walk about and act like he's Mr. Tough Guy and God decides to make him act like a cow. <laughs> and uh, some time after that he finally regains his senses and somehow he realizes that God is the one that's behind it. And in Daniel chapter 4, like I've said a couple of times, you find the most beautiful prayer that you will hear from a Gentile king. Uh, with that being said, we're going to start on the next book right here. Let's see, it's Book of Lamentations. I hadn't covered that one in quite a while. So I'm going to have to do some studying on my own. We'll get back to it. Thank you and God bless. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.